ladies and gentlemen about swords of revolution uh, using integration we are talking about how we can determine evaluate evaluate volumes of solids now if we look at a common case if you have an x axis and the y axis and you happen to have a circle okay around we are talking about a circle around the x axis this is the y axis and this is the x axis and you will see that the radius of this circle is going to be defined by the y value now if it is defined by the y value i'm going to have a center of this and then at the end of the day what i'm going to generate if i revolve it around the x axis and around throughout i'll get what we call a sphere so let's look at volume of a sphere now if you take r to be the radius of the circle that is from the center and the value from uh, the center to where you have y that varies x meaning by pythagoras theorem y squared will equal to um, r squared minus x squared or just saying a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared a c squared is r squared so and a can be y or x so you have x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared and that's where i'm having my y squared is equal to r squared minus x squared so let us skip with this now we know that um volume volume can be that area times wherever you want you, you are if you are talking about area of a for example of a cylinder it can be i mean the volume of a cylinder it can be the cross section area times the height and the rest of the other things as long as you have the cross section area you can always get the volume so most, most in most cases volume comes from area so if i integrate area i always get volume so what does that mean area here for this circular cross section is equal to pi r squared but if i consider the side of y i will see that y is equal to r when i consider this surface so meaning meaning area is going to be pi y squared so area is going to be defined by pi y squared but what is y squared y squared is a given so area will be pi into r squared minus x squared. So i want to integrate that area along the x axis that's why i'm expre expressing everything in terms of x I remember i have uh, r from the center to the end i have i have r and from the center going backwards i have negative r so what i'm going to do i'm going to integrate this area okay along the x axis between the limits negative r to r so i'm saying my volume of this solid will therefore equal to integrating uh, from negative r to r of pi okay y squared with respect to x and this is equal to integrating from negative r to r of pi into r squared 
minus x squared with respect to x. So volume with error 4 will be pi uh, times uh, 0 to r, but multiplied by 2. Since uh, this volume generated is symmetrical, then it will be, uh, to get that volume, it can be the same as integrating from the center uh, from the center to the extreme end. And if I multiply by the 2 of that component, then I will have the total volume. In other words, from 0 to r, that is half a volume, and 0 to negative r is also half a volume. So if I say twice integrating from 0 to r, then I will have the total volume. So twice pi, that one I will have the total volume, and this is going to be r squared with respect to x minus integrating from 0 to r of x squared with respect to x. So volume will be 2 pi into, if I integrate this with respect to x, this still remains r squared but x. Then minus x squared uh, integrated, I'll have x cubed out of 3 from 0 to r. So volume will therefore equal to, if I put in r, my limits, I'll have um, r squared times r minus r cubed out of 3, then minus 0. Minus 0. So that volume, that volume will be 2 pi into r cubed minus r cubed out of 3. So this becomes 3 r cubed minus r cubed, that becomes 2 r cubed. So this becomes 2 pi uh, out of 3 into 2 r cubed. So volume will equal to 4 pi r cubed out of 3, and that is where the volume of the sphere comes from. So the volume of the sphere is always 4 out of 3 pi r cubed, and this is where it comes from by first imagining okay a circle that is revolving around the x-axis and therefore now um, making this circle extend elsewhere in all directions to form a sphere then from the center of that circle i can take the radius to be y but um, originally if i also take the radius of uh, I mean, if I take a distance r, it will also still be the radius of the whole circle. Uh, then the distance between uh, where the center is and y is x. So I express y in terms of r and x. So that when I get area is equal to pi y squared, I can substitute that expression. And then when I go ahead, I be able to integrate, put in the limits, and find the final expression.